What's up YouTube, it's me Gio from Robinhood Investing with Gio. In today's video, I thought we would talk about Johnson & Johnson's earnings report. Yeah right, you know we're talking about GameStop stock. Guys, if you guys have been following this channel at all, you know I've been mentioning GameStop and Wall Street Bets on several videos to you guys. I put this on your radar. Now GameStop is soaring and everyone wants a piece of the pie, but I'm gonna let you know if it's a good idea or a bad idea to possibly risk some money right now. Stay tuned everyone, I'll see you soon. Hey YouTube, just a friendly reminder that everything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Nothing should be taken as financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get into this video. But we can't talk about stocks today without talking about GameStop. Now, the video game retailer, and arguably a relic of the bygone era of shopping mall dominance, has captured Wall Street's attention for several days now. Why? Well, shares nearly doubled today. They've soared 275% in a week. But the stock's performance has little to nothing to do with any news coming out of the company, and much more to do with a mighty army of individual stock traders on Reddit. Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been an absolutely incredible ride that GameStop has been in. It's something to really marvel and admire from a distance. Um, it's had an amazing day, week, and overall year, it's almost up 5,000%. Some of you guys um, that are new might be uh, not aware what's going on, and I'll give you the whole story so you completely understand. The story starts with Wall Street bettors. There are a group of people on Reddit that trade and invest on GameStop stock. Wall Street bets has grown ever since today's action has grown from 2 million active users to now having over 2.5 million users and it's only going to keep growing guys it's absolutely incredible so what's their beef with uh, GameStop and why do they have so much um, like for the stock I'll let you know the battle started with Melvin Capital a famous Wall Street a shorting hedge fund that said that they were going to bet against uh, GameStop and that they thought the company was going to go bankrupt it's been such a bad time for Melvin Capital currently. As it stands year to date, they're down over 30% this year, which comes to $3.75 billion of, it, of the $12.5 billion with which it started with in 2021, according to calculations using numbers reported by the Wall Street Journal. Absolutely incredible how Wall Street bettors, investors, traders have been able to bring down a massive hedge fund. Needless to say, this has definitely put a wound on the bears down at Melvin Capital. Shortly after, a new short hedge fund entered this fight. In Citron Research, they put out a tweet that got a lot of the Wall Street bettors very, very mad. It stated, tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, Citron will livestream five reasons GameStop stock buyers at these levels are suckers at this poker game. Stock back to 20 fast. We understand short interest better than you and will explain. Thank you to the viewers for positive feedback on the last live stream. During this time, the brave Wall Street bettors now had to deal with two massive behemoths staring down at them trying to short their stock. Not only was Citron trying to short them, but so was Melvin. But little did they know, Calvary was right around the corner. Billionaire investor Shamath Palihapatiya joined the war. He stated on Twitter, lots of GameStop talk. So, we bought $115 February calls on GameStop this morning. Let's go! This started an upward trend for GameStop stock, starting off at $82 around 7.30, and as soon as the tweet went off, popping up to over $90. And that was just the beginning of a long upward trend for the rest of the day. Moth would be considered a captain in military terms, but little did they know, the general of the army, Elon Musk, joined the fight as well today. A simple tweet from Elon Musk just saying GameStonk, in addition, linking Wall Street Bet's Reddit user page on his Twitter. This caused the stock to go soaring in the after hours market, reaching a high of over $243 absolutely incredible so what's next for gamestop do i think it could still go up or it could come tumbling down well personally and none of this is financial advice guys i think that this thing still has a little bit of room to run because friday is the big day when the fireworks actually go off 
if you guys don't know, a lot of contracts expire on Friday. A lot of put options expire on Friday. And if you don't cover those puts, this stock can go soaring to much higher levels. On a personal note, I do have a little bit of skin in this game. I do have one options contract for this GameStop stock. I bought it a few days ago and I'm holding strong. But like everything guys, I'm managing my risk and I suggest you do the same. So whether you want to invest in GameStop or not, it's up to you. Like I said before guys, I am not your financial adv advisor. So you should do as you see fit. So yeah guys, that'll do it for my video. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to my channel. Liking the video, commenting, I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Gio, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.